Alex is gone, but his moisture is going to continue to cause some heavy rains over Mexico and Texas. We're also watching some tropical weather uh, brewing in the Caribbean, also the Gulf of Mexico. Immaculate.com meteorologist Dan Kotlowski in the Tropical Weather Center. We're going to take a look at what's going on across uh, the remnants of uh, Alex and also we're going to take a look at two disturbances that we're going to keep a very close eye across the Caribbean. First of all, across the Atlantic, uh, we've got a, a, a tropical wave uh, roughly about 40 west. We've got another tropical wave that's also over the uh, uh, eastern Caribbean. We've got an upper level low pressure area located uh, just to the um, east of the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, the remnants of, uh, of Alex are roughly located about right here over Mexico. And you can kind of see that the clouds uh, across, extend all the way across Kansas and southeastern portion of New Mexico. A close up uh, satellite image of this kind of shows this. Again, these are, this is actually moisture. Believe it or not, this is moisture from Alex. And again, the uh, center of the uh, remnant uh, area is roughly down here. The upper level feature is roughly up through here. So the whole thing is expanding uh, moisture uh, out in, these, all the, in all this direction through here. So this will enhance thunderstorms across uh, Texas, across Mexico. And eventually moisture will uh, be drawn up ahead of a cold front that's now dropping down across uh, the uh, northern Rockies and northern Plain states as well. We're also watching an area of disturbed weather in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. There's a slight turning in the wind flow pattern right through here, and computer projections are taking this feature roughly in a slow path uh, uh, westward, and, and it will take it into Louisiana uh, by the 4th of July, if not maybe by uh, sometime uh, uh, beyond, by early next week, like Monday or, or Sunday then. So, so again, this feature is going to be something we'll uh, keep an eye on. Now, when you look at the upper level wind flow across this area right now, this is, this is a uh, map showing that, and uh, we have uh, the upper level winds are generally uh, flowing uh, in this direction through here, so that would be creating too much shear for any, uh, any quick development of that system at the present time. But uh, nonetheless, it's possible that we could have a large cluster of rain and thunderstorms that could work westward. And again, that's something we'll have to keep an eye on for not only because of the oil spill area, but also this could affect uh, the weekend uh, weather across the coastal sections of the Gulf of Mexico. Another area we're watching also, a lot of thunderstorms brewing in the Caribbean. This is an upper level low, as I said earlier. Uh, this is uh, also a cluster of thunderstorms associated with very strong thunderstorms coming off the coast of South America. Uh, we do have a tropical wave uh, right in here, uh, roughly around uh, 68 west, uh, and it, uh, some computer information takes this wave, moves it westward, and develops uh, some kind of an organized feature right across this area uh, late in the weekend uh, and during early next week. So we'll have to keep an eye on seeing whether something like that will happen. But in the meantime, uh, this whole area, we'll watch this whole area very closely and also keep an eye on this area as well as we head through the rest of Friday and into the weekend. Stay tuned here at AccuWeather.com. We'll, we'll keep, up, keep you updated in case we do see any development in this area and also in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. I'm AccuWeather.com meteorologist Dan Kotlowski.